do it anymore. I actually had an interview and now I have a job. It's exactly like the one we have right now, but we're not gonna talk about but that. It's clean. <laughs> it's clean. This is the saddest thing I've ever done. Really? I'm getting ripped tonight. Yesterday was a lot. Holy shit, this is our home. <laughs> I really want to move in all our stuff today. I know. Well, we still have the kitchen stuff that we can bring in. We're in our apartment. <laughs> Sorry, I'm out of breath because I just carried a lot of shit up. I can't believe this is real. I love the apartment so much. I'm so excited and grateful right now. So you come in through here. There's a little coat closet right here. I'll show you all that later. And here's our living room. Dining room area. Yeah, it might be transformed into a desk area, study area. Oh, this is our kitchen. <laughs> it's kind of full of shit right now. This is all what I packed this morning. We have a laundry room over here. It's kind of echoey. Pantry, which is really nice. Something I haven't had in years. We have an ice maker, which I'm very excited about. That's a luxury for me. I've never had that in my life. Very nice open fridge. It's exactly like the one we have right now, but we're not gonna talk about but that. it's clean. <laughs> it's clean. Our bedroom. Our bedroom. Oh my God, I am so beyond ready for this. We have like a toilet shower room, which would be nice because then we could both get ready at once. Mm -hmm. And then a nice big closet. But right now, I think we should probably go back home because we still have Lantis. We have her for an extra day, which I'm very grateful for. I'll probably see you tomorrow whenever I'm packing up more in the house. It is Thursday. Oh my God, I look insane. I'm sick right now, which is really not my favorite thing in the world considering how much i need to do today like my face is so puffy i fell asleep at 3 a.m we were able to move to the bed here there's so much more to get tonight not looking forward to it we dropped off landis last night it was difficult at first like the drive there and the hour before we left the house but then we got there and like we had dinner with them like we took landis on a walk it was very nice. I feel like I got pretty good closure. It's not closure. Like I literally, I'm gonna see them soon. I have some coffee. I forgot to bring any cups. So we're just gonna drink it out of the mug. Literally the only thing in our fridge is creamer and coffee right now. So much to do today. <laughs> Yesterday before we dropped Lantis off, I was a wreck. I actually had an interview and now I have a job. Yesterday was a lot. I'm almost thinking it'll be worth it to start putting up all of the kitchen stuff we have right now. I haven't had a pantry in so long. We just use cabinets, you know, like that, that was our pantry and it is so nice. This apartment is the nicest place I've ever lived without my family. This is surreal. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna put this up there so I can free the bag. Probably won't stay this way. I'm not like the biggest fan of how this looks, but this is all subject to change. And I think my creamer went old during the car ride, but we're not gonna talk about it. For all of our like cooking utensils, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in a drawer for now, but my goal is to get like a little container for them. I just don't have one yet.
not going to sit here and blame everything on being pregnant. Y'all, I'm really not feeling well. Like, it's all hitting me. I'm almost considering waiting until Soph's off to go to the house. One, because I don't want to be there alone. I fucking hate it. And two, I feel like I'm not strong enough to pack everything on my own. I'm also starving. We have no food. I need to make a trip to the grocery store. But we have corn. This life is really something. The fact that I've been alive for 22 years and it's still hard for me to open a can. Oh no, oh no. Oh my god, wait, what am I gonna eat this out of? I just can't wait until this part is over. Ooh, the stove is so nice. <laughs> Once I don't have to make a two hour round trip three times a day, this would be better. Y'all ever have corn for breakfast at 12 p.m.? I'm so over being unemployed and sad and in bed all day. I start my new job in like a few days. I'm scared, but I'm excited. I'm getting paid to take pictures. This is like my dream. Lukewarm corn. <laughs> this is the saddest thing I've ever done. Cooking videos are gonna go crazy in here. Look at this. Is this Aries kitchen? I don't fucking, like this is, this is incredible. I am so happy to be here. Oh God, so cool. This is the reality. This is what our apartment looks like. And yeah, I just think it's so cute. It's so comfy cozy and it's not much literally at all. We had a lot of things right there. Didn't film any of it, but it's way now. I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. Good morning, everybody. Today is currently Friday. My mom is coming down tomorrow with her truck to help with like the big furniture. But today I have a lot to do, honestly. I need to go back to Denton and grab like all the furniture I can because I have a lot of little stuff. There's something so unbelievably amazing about not having roommates. Well, like I have a roommate, but she's my girlfriend. As much as I love the house, I didn't love the people in it if that makes sense i don't know it was so easy to like slip into depression at that house i don't know how to explain it but last night whenever we went back i walked into the house and i got so angry so i'm not looking forward to going back there i also need to run by the store i'll probably do that before i go move stuff today i am making vegan mac i need a broom i need lunch for today whatever that may be i have no idea sponges because we don't have any broccoli for the vegan mac and lysol wipes i'm still sick i'm trying to push through right now but like my throat is on fire so we went back to the house after soph got off work and literally filled up our cars to the brim we got almost everything so we organized that last night i have cups and plates we have soph's plates some of her mugs that came in that set just because we didn't have room in the cup drawer and I feel like it looks kind of nice with like a matching set. We do not support Starbucks. We are also not wasteful and things that we bought years and years ago do not reflect our morals now. Here are like our display mugs. I don't even know. I just know neither of us could really reach that shelf and I had way too many mugs. We have like plastic cups. I don't know and then mugs, and then I'm gonna have my glass cups right here. I need coffee, really bad. <laughs> I feel like Strands is the most underrated New York Times game. I said it. Sophie and I made this list last night just cause like our parents are coming down, you know, they might say, hey, do you need anything? And we can say yes. Bar stools, a desk, entry table. I might actually use my white Alex drawers. Coffee table. We want to get Stella a little cat water fountain. Baking trays, a step ladder. Oh my God, I need a step ladder. Cat toys, cat tree, and then balcony furniture. I don't know. I'm really feeling like we're going to be here for over a year and i'm really excited about that i realized the other day there has not been a summer that i didn't move seven years almost consecutively moving like i can't do it anymore wait this will be eight i'm gonna get ready to go to the store i will be back to give y'all a little haul okay <sighs> we 
We just got a shit ton of things from the house. Like basically all the furniture that we could fit, we got. High five on that part. And we're not going back tonight. We're not going back tonight. But I have to bring all that in. However, the sprinklers have just started outside. So it means there's something to chillax. Yeah. Dude, the weirdest thing happened. Tell me. I was walking out and I heard something fall. It's like, that's really weird. Fell off my keys. The old house key fell off. So it was on here. And I think that's Ooh. the universe saying, you're done with that shit. We went to Trader Joe's earlier. We also got dinner tonight. Yeah. I'm getting ripped tonight. R.I.P. We also got ice cream. We got ice cream. I'll see you soon. Um, I'm starving and exhausted. Oh God, I need a second after all this. Literally only brought like three things in. That mirror was heavy. insane hi i didn't realize how abruptly this video ended two hours of footage of me organizing the apartment and that's it that's it that weekend as i think i mentioned my mom came down my siblings were here my friends were here it was just like very busy i didn't necessarily like feel the urge to bring the camera out i do look back on the week that y'all just saw very fondly the beginning stages of this apartment while it was stressful and very hot, <laughs> it's something I realized like even during, I knew I would kind of miss it. Because there's just something about having nothing in your apartment besides a mattress on your living room floor. The epitome of a fresh start. That's exactly what this is. I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making this. I hope you love the apartment as much as I do. I actually already filmed the part two to my moving diaries. So that'll be out hopefully, hopefully within the next week. In that video, I just kind of establish a new routine in a new city. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Anyway, that's it for today. Let me know what videos y'all want me to film here. I'm feeling very inspired, very motivated, but yeah. Peace out, Girl Scouts. <laughs> Bye.